In this video, I'll teach you how to create this monthly salary slip in Microsoft Excel. As you can see, I already have created a template of the monthly salary slip here and I'll teach you how I created this. If you want to follow along, I have linked the salary slip template in the video description. You can download it from there. Okay, so now let's open a new MS Excel sheet and now we need to go to the view tab to change the page setup and here in the workbook view group you see this option that says page layout it's basically the print layout i'll select this and now my worksheet looks like this let me just adjust the size of the column according to my needs we need six columns like this yeah perfect now let's start entering our data i'm gonna select these cells merge them and to merge the cells go to the home tab and here click this option now i'll write my company name here let's say achieve more do not company increase the font size and make it bold now i'll merge the blue cell as well and write my company address 456 by 345 abc street mars mars yeah my company's location is on mars merge these cells as well and write monthly salary slip increase the font size a bit and now i'm gonna go ahead and in this cell leaving the above row i'll write employee name after that in this cell write employee id designation and here write month yeah now leaving one row i'll merge these two cells and write income and merge these two cells as well and write deductions deduction mean all the money that has been deducted from your salary for some reasons here i'll write basic salary and hra da and ta okay so hra here means house rent allowance da means dinner allowance and ta means travel allowance in case you are wondering and here we will go with gross pay in the deduction column let's write here loan tax provident fund and esi and in the last cell write the total amount and i am gonna write net salary Net salary is the total of gross pay minus deduction. Now here a little bit down I'll merge these two cells and write the sign of employee. Like the sign of employee and create this line by pressing underscore. And here again merge these two cells and write manager sign. And I'll do the same press the underscore to create this line. Now I'll design this slip a bit and uh, this is my favorite part. First of all, I'll select this cell and go to this border option. And here I'll select the option that says thick bottom border. I'll select the cells and apply all borders. Same with these cells, all borders. It's looking much better now. I'll select the whole slip and apply a thick outside border. Perfect. Select the slip again and change the background color to white. From this fill color, I am selecting this white color. Okay, now I will select these cells again and make them bold. And now I will select this cell, net salary and make it bold too. And select these headings and make them bold and increase their font size a bit. I will also apply a fill color to these headings. Um, let's say this green one. Awesome. I have now designed my salary slip and now I'll show you the formulas. As you know the basic salary is fixed for every employee and this DAT and HRA is applied on that basic salary. So here I'll calculate the HRA. The formula for this is is equal to select this cell and multiply it by the percentage that is given to you by the company. I'm going to write here 50 by 100 and press enter. I'll follow the same process in the blue cell. For DA, I'll write is equal to select this cell and multiply it by 27 by 100 and hit enter. Now I'll do the TA, write is equal to select this cell 
multiply sign and 21 by 100 hit enter to calculate the gross pay it will be the sum of ta da and hra so the formula for this is is equal to sum select these three cells close parenthesis and hit enter now you can see that the amount here at da ta hra and gross pay is showing zero this is because i haven't added a basic salary yet if i put an amount here it will automatically show up here okay so in the loan column i'll leave i will put a zero amount here because this employee didn't take any loan this month i'll also keep esi and tax box zero now i will calculate the provident fund the formula for this is is equal to select this basic salary cell and uh, 9 by 100 and hit enter okay so now to calculate the deduction amount the formula for that is is equal to sum select these three cells close the parenthesis and hit enter and it's gonna show you the calculation of all of these now lastly we will calculate the net salary the formula for net salary is gross pay minus deductions i will write is equal to and select this cell minus and now i'm gonna select this cell and hit enter and you will get the net salary amount in this cell okay so our calculations are done now let's add my employee detail here employee name is let's say xyz employee id is d0041 and designation is customer service and the month of salary is april 2024 now I'll add the basic salary amount and that is 50,000. As soon as I hit enter, you can see that we have got DA, TA, HRA and all of the other details as well. Our salary slip is ready to print now. And you can see that how easy it is to create such salary slips. And you can also create any bill, billing information for your company. So thanks for watching this video. That was it for today's video. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials.